I am grateful for this beautiful early evening surrounded by this beautiful landscape enveloped by beautiful people whom I cherish and I love. One night after a date with a girl named Hannah Bagley, he opened our bedroom door and said, found her. The girl he had been waiting for and the girl that I've been praying for since he was a little boy. You are the first true love of my life. I never believed in love at first sight until I saw you. I thank you for choosing me. I thank you for your patience, support, and love. I'm so grateful that you are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside. You are everything I've wanted, and I can't imagine my life without you. He had a certain aura about him, a swag that I knew would beckon to you. He had the it factor, and it was most certain that one day he would want to have that chat with me. He did, we did, and I came away convinced that he would love you, respect you, and embrace you for all the good you are and also for the weaknesses you possess. Yes, there are a couple. Christopher Ball Dibley. I think back to our very first date and everything felt too good to be true. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you, you were the one. I had found the man I would love through the eternities. I thought I loved you then, but over the next year and a half, life taught me what love really was. Love was having the privilege to stand by your side through the ups and the downs. Love was surviving this world pandemic together. Christopher, I, I vow to fiercely love you no matter what changes may come. Today, tomorrow, forever. I vow that no matter what challenges arise, we may always find ourselves back to each other. I vow to create and support a family with you. A household filled with laughter, patience, understanding, and Christ-like love. I, Christopher, pledge to you, Hannah, my unconditional love and commitment for time and soon for eternity. I will keep you and hold you, comfort and tend you, protect you and shelter you all the days of my life. This time has given me even more clarity that you were made for me, that you complete me. You are my eternal life companion, and I can't wait to start our lives together. I love you, Hannah. The honor of hosting prenuptial fair is the smallest of tokens for this nifty pair. And welcoming Hannah to our family's warm climb is the greatest of pleasures we've had in some time. So with heartfelt best wishes for a marriage that's great, I offer this toast to Christopher's new mate. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 
I pronounce you Christopher Ball Diddley and Hannah Michelle Bagley, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together, and may he bless you to keep sacred the vows you have made. This blessing I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Christopher, you may kiss your wife. All right, that's not a Christopher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. Christopher and Mrs. Hannah Dibley. You are my best friend, the love of my life, my better half, and I can't wait for our future together. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>